the Bills. Get on back to answer more goddamn questions. And he's got a stack of fucking paid skis. So I'm going to go through them pretty goddamn fucking fast. I'm going to have to to get these done because I'm sure people are going to be bitching anytime soon. Because uh, this is just my second video since MDF. I think I've recorded like two or three after Milwaukee. So barely dick for videos in here that I recorded. Good news is, is that I got quite a few interviews between uh, Milwaukee, well, Milwaukee, a handful, five or six, whatever. I got a, uh, I got a Bewitcher one coming too from uh, Milwaukee. It just hasn't been posted yet. The uh, management asked me, uh, with score me the goddamn thing, asked me if I could post it uh, when the album comes out. So July something. So that'll come out in the middle of nowhere next month and a half or something. But at VF, I got like nine or ten of them. And then I can get some others, you know, the Desolate Show and shit like that uh, here and there. So they're keeping me busy on the videos. So uh, I have been recording as many of my officer chicks having at time. So they're piling the fuck up. So I'm going through these goddamn kind of fucking faster than normal, goddamn it's Adam Benson, P questions where we left off in the last goddamn fucking video because he had enough two in a row goddamn he's, he's, he's even got a fucking third one in here uh, and he sends them like once a week so technically speaking this is like goddamn mm, kind of three weeks worth but i knocked out the few so what's up my dog just a quick shout out for all my fellow paid scrooney devils here's the paul lenny calling us out called you got he called you out bro, bro. i don't call that next time i see pro fanatic i'll buy him a beer or if i run into him hiking in connecticut i'll say hey cheers buy him some goddamn uh so a beer or some fucking dip. Loves his goddamn dip. Certain fucking brand, though. I forget what he said it was, goddammit. Uh, Harry Quinn. Paid question. Dog, check out and review the band Heavy Sentence. Yeah, I've, I've heard them before. Uh, we've had them in stock. It's pretty good shit. Good newish thrash band from Manchester. Nothing newer reinventing the wheel, but it's good stuff, and it was fucking great live. Have had everyone moshing when I saw them open for a long knife. Yeah, dude, I, I recall it's just like a raw or fucking metal Lucifer. I didn't, I didn't recall it being thrashy. I, I listened to this stuff, but I, I, I put it back on on YouTube the, uh, when you brought it up, the heavy sentence. But we had there, I think it was a seven inch, and I was like, yeah, I mean, it's pretty good shit. Um, like I said, the best band I could uh, compare it to is Metal Lucifer, but raw. So uh, if you like the heavy metal fucking shit, I definitely, I definitely recommend checking out Heavy Sentence. Might be your new favorite band, brah, brah. Charles White, paid question. Got back from watching Die Fetus in Nashville. It was an amazing show, and I never really cared about the band. That band, psh, first four at least, bra bra are fucking goaded, but they brought it strong. However, every band they played with was a weak as shit and terrible. Two hundred stab wounds are a fucking joke. I'd rather see Biohazard. Dude, again, you guys are going a little hard. Fucking Biohazard over goddamn two hundred wind wounds. Um, again, a lot of you guys, you're. I poke fun at these bands, and the po thing is, I'm not even poking fun at them. I'm poking fun at their goddamn fa fan base. Again, don't know the almighty motherfucking carnage, Dark Recollections, and the goddamn demo here. That's as cabalt as it gets, bruh, bruh. Goddamn two demos. Uh, early, sounds like fucking early goddamn carcass before uh, switching over more speech, death metal sound, and Dark Recollections. I'll just rip on them because they know it's, it's just a bunch of kiddos that, that what's being talked about on Instagram, that's what they follow. So I'm, I'm not... Again, it's just like, watch Harry the Pantera. I'm not ripping on Pantera. I mean, it, it, I guess indirectly I am. I'm ripping on the dumb, dumb fans. I've said this a million times. Same on the 200 whip wounds. I put it on. It's fine. It's not It's not bad at all. Said Gwizio Nutsack. I had the goddamn demo. We we actually thought about, I talked about throwing it around. It was Chasey Boy. sat down. It's a stupid-ass fucking name. Can't even pronounce it. Uh, somebody asked us if we'd sign it. Now, they didn't ask us, but it was thrown around. Somebody local gave me this. I thought it was decent. Um... Again, it's just ripping on fucking the, the fucking fans for being out of the goddamn loop. You guys are only ripping on the party because they got popular. To say that that's worse than that, I don't know all the 200 whip, unless their newest album is just fucking yo-yo as a motherfucker or just completely deplorable goddamn cold chamber shit, then I stand corrected. But what I heard, I was like, it's, it's fine. It's decent death metal. You're only ripping on them that hard is because they're getting popular. To say that they're more deplorable than biohazard, I mean, Jesus, fuck biohazard that's his goddamn canoe as it fucking gets holy fuck ski dude i've never seen so much goddamn canoeness that's an oversized fucking canoe being fucking rowed by a goddamn dozen canoes inside the goddamn canoe flat rim fucking central when i saw them peeked in on them on uh they got to go upstairs maybe i said hi to fucking mark metal haven or some shit Regardless, that goddamn uh, the Milwaukee Metal Fest last year because they played. Holy fuck, Ski. You want to see a bunch of fucking a goddamn nun slaughter who? 
Carnage who? Sadistic intent who? Deceased? Never heard of those guys. You want to see a room full of fucking, at least a thousand of them fucking bozo-ass posers? That's fucking biohazard for you. But worse than 200 wimp wounds? I and mean, again, you guys are just saying this to fucking almost out cobalt the next guy. If I had to hear that band, that if I had to hear bland, featureless, never-ending breakdowns, one thing that disturbed me was I met some cool, friendly people, but the perception of death metal was completely fucked. It usually is. One guy had no idea who autopsy was and kept saying, you mean fit for an autopsy? Gotta say, though, dude, bro, bro, other than several survival and the goddamn demos, the autopsy in my book ain't goddamn death metal. That's doom metal. That's right. I said it in a minute, goddamn it. Put it on. Slow as shit. Death metal was at least upbeat or fucking mid-pace or blasting, goddamn it. Ultra's Madness. Fucking goddamn uh, Scream Bloody Gore. Seven Churches. When was it just all doomy and slow? It's not. And there's nothing wrong with that. But that, that is not death metal. Death metal is at least a fucking mid-pace, somewhat thrash beat. Majority of the fucking time. After Sever Survival, majority of the songs, don't get me wrong, they have some upbeat songs, but majority of it, Sever Survival, Acts of the Unlistenable, and Shit Fun. I can't remember I Shit Fun that much. Uh, I just remember that one being, the, the, by most people's recollection, the chart. But for sure, Acts and, and Mental, I've heard them. It's got one or two, I think, it's, from my recollection, there were two songs on Mental Funeral I liked. The sound is awesome, don't get me wrong. It's the underground shit. It represents the fucking true shit. But out of two songs, there was like two upbeat good songs. The rest was slow goddamn boredom. And actually unlistenable. I remember being goddamn one uh, one song I liked. The rest just snooze doom fucking fest. That's not death metal. Not death metal, bro. Dark recollections? Death metal. And seemed uh, disinterested when I mentioned how old they were. I was disinterested just because how goddamn boring the majority of their goddamn albums are. Another had no idea who Slaughter was. Yep, that, that's a fucking goddamn pose or shit right there, brah, brah. Fair, but still, not not really fair. Not not really. Kind of got to disagree. I mean, you should at least are uh, fully fucking aware that, because even before I kind of heard Slaughter, um, you know, because their shit was out of print, you could you could just walk out and buy fucking Strapato or goddamn Surrender or Goliath. You can get eBay it. But it, it, when I got into metal, dude, that shit was not readily available on this show. It was a CD, vinyl, it just flat out was not. So it took me a little bit till I fucking heard them. I probably heard them when I was 18 or 19. But it, before that time, I was aware there's the fucking goddamn, the, uh, the sissy-ass, pansy-ass fucking glam hair metal slaughter. And then there's the death metal slaughter from Canada. I was fully aware of that fucking information. So, yeah, kind of kind of no pass there, goddamn. You should at least be aware of that. Maybe you're not fucking goddamn Air Guitar and Tyrant, Tyrant of Hell or fucking uh, fuck of death. Um... Uh, was it Nocturnal Hell? Yeah, it's, uh, what other goddamn songs? Goddamn, yeah, Noct Nocturnal Hell. Uh, none goddamn covered that song. Uh, Fuck of Death, the goddamn, uh, there's also the, the, the rehearsal LP that uh, Hell's put out years ago. Uh, sound quality's a little rough, but it's it's listenable, goddamn. It's with Evil Chuck before he turned into Christ Boy Chuck from Death on goddamn vocals. That's cool ass goddamn recording. Um, wasn't it, is it the Fuck of Death or? Which song? Yeah, I think it's fucking death, right? That uh, the, the, the goddamn tish covered. So yeah, no, uh, no goddamn pass there. Do you think it should be on these older bands to pass on some death metal knowledge? I mean, if they choose to, they can do what the fuck they want. This music shouldn't just be another faceless optional product. It's one of the last bas bastions of true culture left in the modern era and rides on its classics, its stalwarts, its progression through time. I had this weird feeling that death metal is at the place that pun uh, must have cut off. Can you guys send me any separate email, bro, bro? I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, the older guys, I guess they're kind of doing it in a sense, but I mean, what are they going to do? Preach on stage? Uh, put on their Insta girl, whatever? I, I guess they choose to do that. Um, to me, it's up to the loop. Actually, I'm going to rephrase that. No, it's not up to the older guys. The older bands to uh, educate them. It's, it's up to the fucking, if you're a true goddamn fanatic, you're going to fucking uh, research it yourself. I did as a kid, and it was a hell of a lot harder in my goddamn time. Not to say be that guy. It wasn't like we're snail mail, snail mailing fucking letters like in the '80s. So it wasn't that goddamn hard. Uh, but it was pre goddamn YouTube. It was pre goddamn discogs. It was pre goddamn fucking Bandcamp. How I don't even know motherfucking metal archives existed at the time. Pretty sure it didn't. Well, definitely didn't. Not in the goddamn '90s. If it did, I wasn't aware of it. Um, I don't know fucking hear those goddamn woke tards fucking started. Um. So it was a hell of a lot harder. 
I did. So it was harder work to research. Now it's easy as fucking piss. They can't even do that. So it's like, smarter? Who? Who? It's up to them. That just tells me you're not interested in this shit. That's fine. But uh, they'll, they'll be out of it because they're not that goddamn interested in it. Weekend motherfucking warriors. Michael Beck with P question. Hey, what's up, Justin? Mike here. Thanks for all the videos and keeping me entertained every day. Sending over a view of my death black metal band, Cruentation. Cruentation. I can never tell. We've had it in stock. C R U E N T A T I O N. Some of those influences are Disciples of Mockery, Pro Fanatic, and Necrovord. First Tiamat, your favorite. Yeah, I don't even like that. I thought that was a snooze fest as well. I mean, it's got decent songs on it. Treblinka is where it's at, brah, brah. Old Sam L, Corpse Molestation, Masochist, First Absu, OFC, Morbid Angel. Basically, the late 80s, early 90s, Evil Death, and Black Metal. No wimp shit. We put out a self-titled mini LP, mini CD on Iron Bonehead. Yep, bing. That's where it was. That's where we got it in because I, I have listened to prior. The 22, and here are the links. Don't need to listen to the shop, brah, brah. Members of Witch Tomb, Cemetery Lice, Blessed Awful, Embryonic, Cryptopia, yep, 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 be honest with you, all bands I don't care about personally, but respectable shit, and a bunch of other bands through the years. We are wrapping up a new full-length recording, writing new shit, and playing gigs, wondering what your take on it is, and trying to get the name out there, so, more. Keep smashing canoes, shout out to, uh, J-O-B, the Jamming Out All bad Badass, and Greg Beal. So, what's Mike Cruentation, however you pronounce it, I'll give you the link. Uh, to me, uh, kind of like this boring fucking, uh, death metal that I don't care about, to be honest with you. But uh, on the flip side for you, that seems to be what everybody likes, that autopsy shit. You said Disciples of Mockery. All crap I personally don't care about. Again, summer survival, go to this fuck. The guys don't even like the autopsy. I like that. And then I just don't like the boring shit. Um, but on the flip side, dude, I'm sure it's everybody that hates the new Dia side. Just sounds like AI music. You're only saying that because you saw the cover, dumb dumb. It's fucking, it's fucking goddamn Once Upon the Cross and Legion as fuck with, a, I guess, a little bit just you know, today Dia side added it. Everybody hates that. They're probably going to love this. So I guess it's good for you because it seems like it's much more the goddamn scene. Um, not my kind of tune skis. Put me to sleep personally. Caesar God in this. What's up, J-Dog? Young Buck here to be exact 19. Got that right. I got a gym question. Mm -hmm. Finally, something good goddamn, good goddamn questions. I got a gym question for you, bro. In November last year, I went into a calorie deficit. I was skinny fat at 185 pounds. Fast forward to now, at the end of May, I am 150 pounds. I hate how I how small I look. I mean, you're 150 pounds. How big do you think you're going to look? I still have my love handles, but I lost a lot of fat in my body, so so I stared. Oh, so he's like, I started asking questions to other people in the gym of what I should do. That's probably one of the worst things you do, bro, bro. To do to lose more fat. One of my friends told me, fuck it, at this point, bulk, bulk another not. Bulk another knob said, just go into carnivore diet. Dude, do not follow carnivore diet. Only fucking retards follow that. And other people said to keep going since it take a long time to lose my stomach fat. I just wanted some advice on what I should do. Thanks, dog, for answering. Would send more paid skis in the future. So I'd have to fucking see you, but I mean, you can't be that goddamn fucking fat if you're uh, 150 fucking pounds. I mean, unless you're 5'1 or some shit and 150 pounds mostly fat, then maybe. Um... I have a vague, you'd be probably just the average guy at this point. Yeah, you have some fucking goddamn fat hanging over your sides because males primarily dis, uh, distribute body fat majority, where the majority of the thick folds are, is going to be on the low stomach, um, uh, right above the hips and low back. Females, it's uh, hips, glutes, and uh, hamstrings. That's generally speaking. Obviously, there's exceptions to the fucking rule, but generally speaking, that's how it's, uh, it's stored. So you're just storing your body fat normal. You're probably just skinny everywhere else. What I would personally do, again, depending on how your body responds to foods, et cetera, like that, I would go uh, high protein. I would go at about 200 grams of protein per day. Make sure to measure your shit out too, bro. bro. Lean source of protein, grilled chicken breast, fucking uh, whey protein, um, egg whites, a couple whole eggs, but egg whites, uh, very lean uh, cuts of steak, uh, Ground turkey, 99% lean ground turkey, uh, 96 leans. That's the leanest uh, ground beef you can get. Use these as your staples of, uh, and you could do uh, tur grilled turkey breast too. And uh, any white fish, uh, tilapia, flounder, uh, lobster if you can afford it, um, and shrimp. 
Very, very high protein, very low to some of those zero fucking fat. Tilapia is like zero fucking fat. I would add those your uh, protein sources spaced out throughout the day, at least five meals a day, four to five feedings a day, spread out throughout the day, however you want to do it. If you want to go to six, fine, but you're probably not going to be able to do that. Four to five, spread out through the day. So you're going to get, uh, if you're doing five meals a day, at least 40 grams per uh, protein per uh, meal. Make sure to weigh this shit out. It's not hard. Fucking YouTube it. You can, you can you figure out how to do this literally within 90 seconds. Unless you're goddamn the biggest box of chocolate boys on the face of the fucking earth. It's beyond fucking easy. And the scale costs like $9.99, a food scale. Uh, keep some protein around 200 grams, five meals a day, 40 grams for that. And then um, I would keep your carbs around. I would start around 200 grams of carbs a day. Uh, you may not have to up or lower that. And your fats, I would go on, I would go low fucking fat, man. Um, just how you're storing it because you get a, as long as you're training, I would go about under 50 grams of fat for you, less than 50. Do fasted cardio, 30 minutes of fasted cardio every goddamn morning, and then train in the goddamn evenings. You try to just get stronger at all the basic movements. You do that, you should be able to put muscle on because you're, you're dying. I can guarantee it's fucking off. I can guarantee fucking you. You're just eating stupid shit, crackers and processed dumb foods, bologna sandwiches, your protein's way too low, your fat's way too high, your carbs are probably high too, you got two energy sources, dumb as fuck, dude. You're training fucking balls ass fucking hard, you're going to want to higher carbs, and uh, that way the carbs are all being used for a performance in the gym, and you have very little fats to be stored as fucking body fat, because yes, fats do get stored as body fat easier than any other goddamn macronutrient. Stop listening to all these fucking idiots. Uh, that is scientifically fucking proven again and again and again and again and again. Fats, carbs do not get stored as fucking fat. They only get stored as fat in a caloric surplus. It is not even debatable. It is it's just flat out not. All the body fat you can pinch on your body, every single bit of it that you can grab on you is from dietary fat in a, in a caloric surplus. The only, when carbs get stored as fat, most people don't even know this, it's mostly when it gets stored as is visceral fat and around the organs. It's not subcutaneous fat. Subcutaneous fat is what you see on your body if you pinch. Just so you fucking know. Uh, because there's been so much misconfusion in uh, the nutrition world and, and uh, training world by all this low carbs and large fat. Well, really? Then why do all the fucking top guys, and I found out myself, you go on a lot low fat diet, high carb diet, as long as you're training, not inactive, you fucking just, you can get leaner and bigger at the same time. Go out, look up any fucking coaches, Justin Harris, fucking Milo Sarshan, all of them. Their guys are on insane amounts of fucking carbs. Their fats are extremely low. Their protein's high as fuck. They grow and get leaner at the same time. So it's how it's fucking done. Carbs are your best fucking friend for training, performance. Tell, tell a marathon runner, hey, dude, go on low carbs and eat high fats. Yeah, watch out how fucking fast he loses that goddamn race. I would do that. And then the recon from there, you know, don't just keep pushing your calories up balking and eating pizza and stupid shit. You're going to get fat as fuck, bro, bro. Robert Green. Paid question. What's up, Jada? I paid or question. I might lose a little credibility with this one. I was listening to Exhumed Gore Metal and Suicide Silence. What the fuck? Those two goddamn bands don't even belong in the same sentence. Suicide Silence and Cleansing. And in my opinion, the vocals actually sound a little similar. I didn't hear it. Just the vocals. He puts in caps. Can you hear what I'm saying? I mean, I, not really, but I guess maybe in everybody's ears for a little bit different. You got to remember gore metal. I, I heard that as a goddamn kid. So it's got other type of, you know, I heard it through a goddamn different lens too. Can you even agree just the tiniest bit that the vocals sound a little alike on these two albums? Or is my true metalist card officially revoked with this take? No, I mean, everybody, like I said, it's in the ear beholder. Uh, it's okay to call me a twink core loving poser who needs to walk on, walk on homeboy. If you don't agree, also, why the motherfucking fuck has an HHR order I placed two days ago already been shipped, but an order I placed 10 days ago is still in progress? I don't know. Email service, goddammit. Which order number are you talking about? My first goddamn guess, you probably had a pre-order item on the goddamn, uh, on the order, and, uh, you don't look at the pre-order date. He says, try your order ships, uh, June 21st. Why is it my order ship? Get that all the read, read the fucking instructions, brah. It says right there. You put a goddamn order, well, yeah, I ordered six items. Yeah, the entire order ships. With that item on there, place that order separate for that item. If you want it shipped out, out goddamn ASAP. Gonna make this goddamn last one. Another dumbass fucking review. Will Rogers, paid review. Unsound Productions here. Where did I leave off this goddamn essay? My my take on bands like Lurking Corpses and Attic are that the front man like Danzig and King Diamond have so much charisma that it's hard to replicate. I agree. 
hard to like that boner pill from Corn Boy. I don't even know what that fucking canoe looks like. Don't know his name. Don't know what he looks like. Don't know what he sounds like. Don't even fucking care. I just know it's JoJo City. I find myself liking their music but feeling like Glenn and King already topped it. They're where, as other clone bands like Entomb don't have such charismatic front men so people can tolerate them more. Curious on your thoughts of the seven, the seven churches. I want to leave you to a link to check out the latest single, Case of Beer in the Boneyard by Demis Guts. It's one of the Unsound Productions YouTube channel. Link here. It's about a love triangle gone gone wrong. El Cat may dig it. Uh, I don't think she'd care, to be honest with you, dude. I also sent you a full length. Keep an eye out for it. I was thinking of doing a one-man black metal project, but Paul Lenny would kill me with, with an ice pick, so I needed to think it. Bring on the tish, you do. Yeah, I mean, the shit you do, I mean, don't get me wrong. Is it something I'm regularly going to listen to and go to my way to? No. But, uh, I mean, yeah, I kind of dig it because all the references to me. Uh, so I find it personally funny. Uh, do I think somebody outside who doesn't know who the channel is would dig the stuff? Again, music's in the air of beholder, so it's hard to say. But, I mean, I get a kick out of it because both about a lot of the shit's yeah, either quotes I said or references to me. So I enjoy it for that. Um, so in that sense, it's pretty goddamn cool for me. But anyone outside me, uh, I can see them not giving a fuck. But I guess, yeah, the Demis Guts, check it the fuck out. I've already gave it the shout out um, to a couple of your tracks now. And then you got another, I got another review in here for you. You send it in the mail. Uh, but we'll get to that on, I don't know, tomorrow's video, next video, whatever the fuck I get up. Like I said, these goddamn things are piling up. We keep them coming in. More the merrier, goddamn it. It's coming to the surgery. Look at you. Put the guy on my skin. It's a morning later, goddamn it.